Boston, six to five. U-100 reminds you, help out the U.S. Marine Corps U-100 Toy for Tots campaign this Christmas season by putting any usable toys that you don't need in the barrels at any Twin City 7-Eleven store. Give the kids who need the most something to celebrate this Christmas. U-100, save the seals. Chicago weekend. Weather. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Sunny today, occasional cloudiness tonight and tomorrow. The high today, maybe 35. All right. The low tonight, about 13 to 18, somewhere around in there. And the high on Sunday in the upper 20s. Right now, 14 and clear. I'm Art Snow for the new Super U. You want 100 Snowman? The instant reference is close to your phone. You can do it right now. 12th caller, 452 3333. By request, Big Brother and the Holding Company, this is Pearl. Peace to my heart. Save the Seals weather sunny today. Occasional cloudiness tonight and tomorrow. Hot today around 35. Low tonight around 15 degrees. Somewhere right in there. 14 right now. Mostly clear. Exile on Main Street. Stones. Happy. U100. 544 in the Twin Cities with the Snowman. 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Your mama will let you put your mama anywhere you want to. The Super U. Silver Convention, Fly Robin Fly. E-10547, the Twin Cities, presenting the BBC Rolling Stone concert special Sunday night at 10 o'clock, right on Super U. Fleetwood Mac, over my skull. Here he comes, here he comes, St. James in the morning. <laughs> St. James and Rex King will do some of it themselves here in fine fashion. Coming up at 6 o'clock, KC Sunshine Band get down tonight. U100, the world's greatest cheapskate himself, Jerry St. James, be along at 6 o'clock. Tell you all about what happened out there last night. Too gruesome for me to relate. Barry Manilow by request. By request is going to do it. The birds, eight miles high. Jerry St. James. Jerry saves the seal, St. James. Next on the Super U. You know they're saving the pelicans now? Do you know that? No, I'm just not there. I got a story on that. You have yourself a good one today. W-I-O-O, I have an FM Scary Richfield. Oh, I can't believe it is 6.01 on a Saturday. Yes, it's another adventure of Captain Burnout and his space cadet. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hang on a minute. U-100 and all those other radio things. Boy. I wonder if that's the one I'm looking for. I'm trying to find a cut off the Chicago album I really like. And I bet they said that. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's the wrong album. No wonder. This thing called Introduction. Is that on the first album? Oh, wait a minute. I can't hear you. Wait a minute. You can't hear me either. I'm talking already here. What'd you say? What'd you say? You're on. Let me put my phone. It's not on oh, that my one. Headphones on. Ah, da da da. Ah, it's Saturday. Burnout City. Uh, I'm not burned out. I'm just really tired. 
Do you do? Oh. oh wrong cut, huh? Well, it's kind of, yeah. Oh, they've been playing with the headphones again, man. Bum me out. What a bunch of dinks. What's the matter? What's oh, the matter with your headphones there? Your headphones there. Challenge, what, what? Channels are out of balance again. I hate oh, that. Oh, they are. You remember Song on Chicago? I think it's the first album called Balance. I'm doing that balance introduction. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I remember that. Well, I should obviously remember that. <laughs> Let's see how I could ever forget that. <laughs> you dink, it's no, good. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't. Oh, that. but it's good. It's good for you. You'll love it. Well, anyway, how are you? Uh, I'm all right, I guess. Boy, it's cold. What's with temperatures? It's 14 right now. Hey, that's really cold. No, it isn't. Yeah. I, uh... This is Warm. my custom. I don't really have uh, anything in the house by this time to eat. Uh, this time of the week, so uh, I usually go to uh, what we call it, Super American, pick up some just some junk, you know. Whoopee! And I have an underground garage, and I don't know. I, I don't even wear anything. I just wear my pajamas here on Saturday, and just get in the car. Boy, I stepped out of the car at Super America and about froze my buns off. They'll do it to you. Super Boy. America's even colder than the rest of the place. <laughs> They're really, really cold there. Oh, that was just terrible. Hi, I, Super America. Hi there. They, I, listen, uh, they hi. listen to us. Yeah, they listen. I was just stepped out there and the weather went, 14 degrees, get back in the car. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> You know uh, they, you know they won't, they won't. Their, their boss down there won't let them listen to us at night. Why? Oh, uh, we're too raucous. Oh, really? <laughs> raucous and rollous. Raucous and rollous, yeah. Members but they'll listen in the morning because, as anybody can tell, we are very raucous right now. Especially on Saturday. Saturday. If by chance this happens to be the first time you're with us on a Saturday, um, you know, you don't know what it's all about. Saturday, uh, we just figured it that for five days a week in here, we just go nuts and just kill to be good. Mm. And then the last day of the week, it's a Saturday. Freep, uh, freep. Uh-huh. I said freep, freep. Go ahead. Freep, freep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> last day of the week here, we just kind of, uh, well, actually, everybody's burned out is what it is. So we just kind of uh, just get very bellow, play a whole bunch of stuff here. Good music and everything. Just lay around dreaming about fondues. And yeah, dream about fondues. Gee whiz. Boy, oh boy. Fondues. Been very quiet on fondues all week long, mainly because... <clears throat> That's out of respect to Michael. Yeah, he's got nice fun, does. Yes. <laughs> I've seen him. Uh, I've seen, oh, he's probably in the barn. No, I don't think so. He doesn't milk, milk until 7 on Saturday. I don't he doesn't? Think. No, maybe 6. Daisy's going to get pretty nervous. Yeah, Daisy is his cow. Just a just a huge animal. I mean, this looks like a freight train, this, uh, this, this animal. Daisy gets very upset when you don't milk her. She comes in the bar. You come in the barn there, and she's standing there. And bleh, bleh. Go here and pull these wheel. Ah. She gets very upset. You know, That's, huh? you know, it's very easy to scare a cow. Did you know that? Uh, here, here it comes. Oh, why is that? No, no, really. I mean, I'm just saying it is. I mean, you might think it might be hard to scare a cow when they sit there and chew their cud and look at you, you know, and you could, and you could really clap your hands. I'm serious. Hey, I'm serious here. Scare a cow? Oh, yeah. What are you saying? They get upset. <laughs> You stand in front of a cow, see and wave anything at him, or, or you know. <laughs> what do you do to scare it? Well, I don't say know. boo? Yeah, you say boo, it'll scare a cow. Oh. You can't really tell. <laughs> <laughs> but take my word for it, scare cows scare easy. You just have to believe that it's scary. Oh, I'll it. bear that in mind. <laughs> Next time in the barn there over at the Douglas's, I'll be very careful not to make any sudden moves or anything. Thought you'd like to know that. That's all. Can you have a stampede with just one cow? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got a calf, though. They can get together and stampede all of us. <laughs> Run over our fondues and step on our buns and everything. That'd be terrible. What a terrible morning. But what are you talking about? What am I talking about? I don't know. You're the one talking about scaring cows, you oh. prevert. Uh, well, it's just one of those little known facts. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> uh, oh, hi. If anybody was out at the cheapskate last night, go back to bed. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we were out there. Boy, what a crazy thing. I haven't been roller skating in so long. And they were, you know, like kids, people would come up out there and they'd say, hey, let's do a lucky number. Let's do a snowball. Let's do a side skate. Let's do a backwards only. Let's do a trio. And I'm going, what the heck is all this? I thought it was some kind of Sunday or something. <laughs> I don't know. They have all these crazy things here, and boy, some of those people out there are really good. 
Well, it used to be a good skidder. Yeah, I used to be okay, too. But that was back in the old days when they had wooden wheels and wooden floors. Yeah. Now everything is roller glide. You couldn't do anything but go around the room at 900 miles an hour and yeah. nice into walls and things like that. Right. Speed. Remember speed skating? We used to uh, uh, stoop down there. Yeah, that's what I like. Anything and just, just really roll right along. Boy, I would look like so much fun last night. I really want to get back into it. You didn't go out on the floor? No, I was so busy. Are you kidding? I was there for four hours. It seemed like ten minutes. I was so busy. Oh, wow. But I really want to get back into it. Oh, you chickened out, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Gee, but that's so, that's neat. Oh, hey, I wouldn't, I would have made a bozo myself. They had the, you know, little kids there, 10, 12 years old, you know? <laughs> Just going like crazy. <laughs> then they competed some... in the Olympics next year. Yeah. Of course, then they had some adults there, too, last night who were very good. But that was really neat. I have this sudden desire to strap eight wheels on my feet and go pedaling around. <laughs> well, anyway. Want to be a disc jockey at the, at the roller rink? Yeah, right. Do drive time at Cheapskate. <laughs> Do afternoon drive at Cheapskate. <laughs> uh, you got to see my hooper, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah, I used to do drive time at Klein's. Afternoon oh. drive at Klein's. <laughs> <laughs> Attention shoppers, now in our ladies' department. <laughs> Remember to, <laughs> I was so sorry for those guys when I go in there. <laughs> Poor guy. You have 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, if you look around the store and see the flashing yellow light, that is your sign for super bargains this hour. The first 700 people. That's in, right. <laughs> into the ceramic section. Right. <laughs> oh, dear. You know they've had that little light they move around the store? Oh, yeah. That's always neat. <laughs> the yellow flashing light is now in our gourmet department, where for the next hour and a half, you can get a succulent submarine sandwich for 49 cents. <laughs> Look for the flashing yellow light, your sign of value. Oh, dear. Anyway, why are we wasting good time doing this? Yes, I know. It's, I know. Uh, what is it now, about five after eight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, listen, enough of this folder, all this. There's got to be something in there. Uh, just a couple of things. So I'll right. keep it slow and easy. Okay, what's yeah. happening? Well, good morning. Hello. Hi. <laughs> For your information, I might know from Michael J. Douglas. Jerry <laughs> saved the seal of St. James with Art Scare the Cow Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Michael's out milking his seal right now. And uh, he'll be back with you on Monday, hopefully. <laughs> Leave that cow alone, will you? A team of biologists reports the brown pelican population off Southern California is coming back as a result of anti pollution measures taken during the past few years. The scientists who published their findings in Science Magazine yesterday, they included uh, some who reported six years ago the DDT was threatening the coastal birds. DDT was virtually banned in the U.S. in 72, and the biologists say the pelican population has undergone a dramatic pop since then. Only four baby pelicans were counted in more than 1,100 nests off the islands off California in 1969. Yes, that's really zero. But 1,185 were spotted in 1,286 nests in 1974. They really count these right down to the last nest. The eggshells had also increased in thickness by 20%. So the pelicans are thriving again. For those of you who are nostalgic, Mickey Rooney's old neighborhood on the Andy Hardy movie series burned to the ground last night in a fire that swept through the back lot number two at Metro Golden Mare Studios. The church and three adjoining buildings were completely engulfed in flames when fire units arrived. Three other buildings were scorched. No injuries were reported. and he hasn't been there in a while. Fire officials say it took the 30 firemen on the scene 30 minutes to put out the flames. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Officials say it was of uh, suspicious, quote-unquote, origin. Whatever that means. More evidence of bad effects from using silicone injections to enlarge your fondues is contained in the new <laughs> <laughs> edition of the Journal of the American Medical Association. This is true. I'm not kidding you. I am not kidding you at all. Stay away from those silicone injections. The report says one woman died only 10 hours after receiving large injections of silicone and other cases of liver damage caused by silicone granules were listed in the report. After the autopsy was performed, they found silicone in all parts of her body. Liquid silicone to just run around the system. That is not a good idea. Well, that's enough of that. U-100. Save the seals. Chicago weekend. Am I leaving anything out? Scare the cow. Scare the, scare the cow. <laughs> Stone's BBC special. 
Hey, cow! Boo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're real good. I'm going to do one on chickens next. I'm going to have to study them. Is a chicken really chicken? Sunny today. Occasional cloudiness tonight and tomorrow. The high today should be around 35. <laughs> Around 35. I'm not going to make it. I know I'm not. <laughs> Low tonight, around 15. And the high tomorrow, around 28. Come on, jump in here and save me here. Oh, jump in here on your own. It's 14 right now. You want to scare the cow weather. I love it. <laughs> I watch snow with Michael J. Douglas for Jerry. Save no, 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 no. Here I snow. For Michael J. Douglas with Jerry the Seals. Didn't I say that? No, you oh. said you were Douglas with me. I oh. mean, you were me. You said you made it sound like I'm on vacation. Are you done? Lord, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> on the radio this morning at 6:25 with St. James uh, playing the hits while you're spraying your pits. What are you doing up this early? What did you pull it all nighter or what? Hey, I got a good idea. Artie and I were just talking. A couple of people have requested it, he says, and it's a good thing. We're going to do Close to the Edge by Yes, right after the news. Uh, play the whole thing for you in its entirety, just because I feel like it. I feel like some Yes this morning, so I think we'll, I think we'll get into some of that in a little bit here. Huh? It is 14 degrees outside. You will freeze your buns right off. There will be frost on your pumpkins this morning, so pull the covers up and go back to sleep. Steely Dan. We have your leaders. This is the place. It is 629 out of St. James radio program for Saturday. Ah, uh, yes. This is Burnout City here. 14 degrees outside. You'll freeze them off this morning, believe me. This is by request this morning. Believe me there, too. It's Neil Sadaka. That is Neil Sadaka. This is Jerry St. James at 632, and Artie Snow is next. Uh, oh, my God. Some fan that was. Oh, I, no, I didn't bring the fanfares today. So oh, okay. I don't do fanfares today. But I guess if I have to do it without them, I'll just do it without Muddle them. along somehow. I uh, it's just sitting back here ripping the news and having a good time. All right, why don't you rip some more? I'm going to run in the uh, thing there and see if I can dig up uh, close to the edge. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can find it. I've been looking for it. Are you serious? Yeah, they got all kinds of ES albums here, but close to the edge, I don't know what became of it. Oh, no. Okay, well, I'm going to look real quick while you're... Yeah, after whatever. you promise, and then you have to... Yeah, I know. I'll look. Everybody will come out here and kill you. Well, good morning. For your information, I'm Art Snow for Michael J. Douglas, who's milking the cow right now. It's 14 degrees in the Twin Cities. We're going to be a little warmer today than we thought we were. We got up to about 35, and that means that you drive away if you didn't bother to to uh, shovel it yesterday like I didn't. We'll probably melt, melt all away, so that's good. What is new today, you're asking me? I'll tell you. Juan Carlos was sworn in as... King of Spain today, succeeding Francisco Franco, who died Thursday. Witnesses to the brief oath taken before Parliament in downtown Madrid shouted, Long live the King! King Juan Carlos I called on Spaniards to unite under him to create a new order of justice. That's a pretty good old opening there. Democrats continue their National Democratic Issues Forum in Louisville, Kentucky today. 2,000 party members and seven of the party's ten presidential hopefuls are in attendance. A poll of 400 of the delegates indicates Indiana Senator Birch Bayh is tied with Senator Hubert Humphrey as the most popular choice for the 1976 Democratic presidential nomination. Here in Minnesota, the residents are all digging out from under up to 24 inches of snow that fell throughout the state Thursday. Travel is still a problem in certain areas. No travel advisories were in effect yesterday for the Wilmer and the Marshall areas for 17 inches of snow fell. Highways there were blocked and stalled vehicles, hampered cleanup operation. In the Twin Cities, the city streets are still clogged in some places with seven inches of snow. Residential streets went unplowed, according to Lauren Seavey, superintendent of uh, street maintenance. The city engineer will decide Monday on plowing residential streets. A few of them are plowed. Mine's plowed, I know that. It's a matter of money, Seavey said, adding, we're hopeful for a mild winter. That's what he said anyhow. This storm killed six people in Minnesota. The sixth uh, to die, 65-year-old George Cooley of Heron Lake. He was uh, found 20 feet from his Jackson County home, believed to have suffered a heart attack and died of exposure there. It's not there, huh? What I thought. Well, do you know how to tap dance? Another long one? Well, there's traffic. They can try that. All right. Oh, pardon me. Hello again. Get all wrapped up in this kind of thing. The bicentennial spirit is rather infectious. 
Even thieves are getting excited about the nation's 200th birthday. A Modesto, California service station attendant said two men pulled up to his gas station yesterday, took down the 12 by 20 foot flag, which flies over the station, and fled with it. And that's just the only flag ceiling that went on. Yeah, that is the only flag steal that went on last night. That flag, by the way, was worth $600. Two masked bandits. It can only be described as butter-fingered hit a Sicilian village bank. Police say the bandits have stole almost a $15,000. But accidentally, they dropped half of it during the getaway. This is real big news this morning. I hope you hurry up and get something there. I can't go on with this. This is really bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't just it, it doesn't pay to swear, not even at a dog. No. A laborer in the Australian city of Goulburn <laughs> was sentenced to seven days in jail for swearing at a dog. I'm not kidding. John Gibson allegedly yelled abusive language loud enough to be heard by the neighborhood when a dog began to bark. So they came and hauled him away and put him in jail for that. What? What should you what? You can't find traffic either? Oh, I got it. It's right there. You can't find traffic? Oh, where is it? Aren't you talking? Oops. I lost, I lost what's in there. Oh, okay. here we go. You gotta talk loud or they can't hear us. Wait a minute, we're looking for traffic. Hang on a second. Okay, you want, uh, here now. Just to show you that I know Wait I'm a there. minute, it's right there. There's, uh, there's, 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 there it is. There it is, right there. We got it. Right there. You got it? All right, I'm back again. Boy, there's really not a whole lot happening here. The Academy of Applied Sciences says the Loch Ness Monster is not a myth. He's a mister. <laughs> no, but he's uh, real and alive. The other side. Oh, wait a minute. It's not even on that. Hang on a second, folks. Hang on a second. Hold it. Right there. I mean, it's there. I know it's there. Wait a minute. I know it's there now. Wait a minute. I know it's here. Now. Oh, I got this one for you. Now, you take the on the road here. And that. And that as well. That's about that. A little longer than usual. Special treat for you here. I'm going to play you the uh, the version as it was heard in the uh, fabulous golden. Wonderful, one of the greatest albums ever put out, Traffic on the Road LP, straight from concert and all that sort of stuff, okay? What was I saying about the Loch Ness Monster? That it's not a myth? It's real and it's alive. Scientists have evidence to prove it. Dr. Robert Fine says in a copyrighted interview published in today's Boston Globe that scientists will gather in Edinburgh, Scotland, December 9th to exchange evidence of the monster's existence and maybe talk to him over a good cigar and a little tea. U-100. I'll take it slow for you. You 100 here. Save the seals, scare the cows, and uh, milk the chickens, and Chicago weekend. Sunny today. You will get some occasional cloudiness tonight and tomorrow if you live in Minnesota. The high today will be a little bit better than we thought. It's going to be up around 35, somewhere around in there, rather than the uh, 28 that was predicted before. The low tonight, about 15, and the high tomorrow will be up around 28, somewhere around in there. It's 14 right now, and uh, it's, it's mostly clear in the Twin Cities. And by golly, I'm Art Snow for the very hardworking and industrious Michael J. Douglas, sitting right here with Jerry St. James. Traffic there, believe it or not. Yeah, that is what is called tracking an album in the biz. So, how was that? That was the low spark of high hill boys. It, <laughs> excuse me, it's 657, three minutes in front of seven o'clock. Hi on the radio this morning, 14 degrees outside. And let me tell you, it is chilly. Yes, it is terrible out here. Let me just say, very, very, very cold. Gonna be a nice day today, though. Sunshine for most of the day here. This is Simon and Garflunky. In my little town. Q100 WYOO, AM and FM stereo, Richfield. It is 701. There it is called an ad sound Broadway at 705. Hi, you. I'm counting out petitions here. What, 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 what? 
Eight, nine, ten. I'm counting out sale petitions, sir. Oh, you got a whole mess of those last night, didn't you? Oh, yeah. We got a bunch of signatures out at the Sheepskate last night. All those good people at the Sheepskate uh, just oh, yeah. pulled it all in. Uh, I guess we got maybe 800 signatures. Well, I guess uh, some people didn't want to sign because they either already signed at school or they had uh, requested some to come in the mail, you know, and they were going to sign those when they got there and take them around to their school. That's really nice. That's Certainly really is. Nice. We will have the last of the che- the last. If you haven't gotten your petition yet, okay, you should get it today or at the latest Monday, at the very outside Tuesday, or maybe Wednesday. No, really, what, what's happening is uh, the last of them are being mailed out this morning. As soon as I get off the radio, I'm going to run up to the post office and give them the last of them. And so from there, it's up to the post office. So you should have them very soon. I'd say, you know, 90% of the people will have them by Monday and the rest by Tuesday and Wednesday at the outside if you live way out in a stick somewhere. Uh-huh. And you never know at the post office. We have to mail these things third class because they're so heavy. But, uh, you know, they'll get there. They'll get there. Phantasmagoric? Yes, I think well, that's great, man. Yes, yes, it is wonderful. Well, there's probably some news in there somewhere. No, there's... Oh, there isn't? No, oh. no, there's no news in here at all. No news! No, is no good news, news today! Yes. yes. As a matter of fact, I do have some things from oh. Earth, Earth and Zodiac. Oh, things. that's always interesting stuff, though. Well, not always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's, what's going on? Take today, for instance. Right, let's take today. All right, you can have it. I know. I, I, I've got some stuff here on Wacky Weed that, uh, you know, since Michael isn't here, I have to uphold his marijuana tradition, right? Okay. Good morning. I'm Art Snow from Michael J. Douglas. It's 15 degrees now, going up tremendously in the Twin Cities. And if you're one of those people, this is from Zodiac, who believes that marijuana at police departments across the U.S. are no longer cracking down on marijuana u- u- users, then you're dead wrong. And I'm dead. Blah, 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 blah. The new official crime statistics released by the FBI this week show that the number of Americans arrested for pot crimes last year soared to a record, I said a record, all-time high. The National Organization for the Reform of Wacky Weed Laws, namely Normal, reports that 445,000 people were busted last year for pot-related offenses. Normal quotes the new FBI statistics as showing that 69.4% of all drug arrests in America last year were for wacky weed offenses. That means, Normal said, despite the growing hard drug problem in the U.S., 7 out of every 10 drug busts today are for merely wacky weed infractions. FBI stats also show that since 1970, despite the so-called crackdown on hard drugs, the proportion of marijuana arrests is dramatically outstripping all other drug-related arrests. Marijuana busts as a uh, percentage of all drug arrests has skyrocketed from 45% to nearly 70% last year. That's, uh, that's really bad. And speaking of the wacky stuff, a new survey conducted by the nonprofit Drug Abuse Council in the state of Oregon found, despite that state's decriminalization of pot, there has been no increase at all in the use of wacky weed by Oregon residents. The council completed its second annual wacky weed survey in Oregon last month on the second anniversary of Oregon's removal of all criminal penalties for the simple use and possession of marijuana. The latest surveys found that 8% of Oregon residents say they use pot regularly, while a total of 20% say they've tried the weed at least once. The survey discovered there had been no increase, possibly even a slight decrease, in wacky weed smoking in Oregon after two full years of decriminalization. A similar survey by the council and other states, which maintain stiff marijuana penalties, has found virtually identical smoking patterns, despite the stiff penalties. You figure it out for yourself. The executive director of Normal, Keith Strope, said the survey demolishes the notion that harsh criminal penalties will prevent people from using uh, marijuana. Just won't do it. Four Ohio school teachers have filed a $200,000 lawsuit against their school board after being fired for wearing mustaches. The four young ladies, no, that's not true. The four uh, teachers had their contracts terminated by the Lynchburg Clay Board of Education after they refused to shave off their whiskers. The teachers filed suit in Cincinnati Federal District Court contending their constitutional rights had been violated. The board had agreed with, uh, to permit the teachers to continue their duties, even with whiskers, until the suit is determined. Why, that's dumb. Now that the moviegoers have been deluged with uh, various disaster movies, such as Earthquake, Towering Inferno, Jaws, and so forth and so on, this is from the Zodiac, get ready for, it's at about time, a rash of UFO films. Newsweek magazine reports at least half a dozen UFO fright movies are on the drawing boards for the major studios. As an example, Jaws director Steven Spielberg is putting together a UFO thriller called Close Encounters of a Third Kind. George Lucas of American Graffiti will direct a film to be called The Star Wars. And Irving Allen of The Towering Inferno has been signed to make a sci-fi flick called The Day the World Ended. Also being filmed as a movie based on the book Fade Out, an invasion from outer space type story. It's about, all I can say is it's about time 
the movies finally started to make good science fiction movies. It's been a long time since 2001. And guess who's getting back together? The Moody Blues. That's oh, right. really? Yeah, they're coming back far. together. They are. They spent the last year concentrating on solo projects. Coming this spring, the Blues will be recording together again. They going to tour? Is there anything here about tour? Nothing yet, no. Drummer Graham Edge recently told the British press, he said the Moody's are going to be planning a reunion in their London studios to record an eighth album together. They haven't uh, recorded together as a unit since their last LP, Seventh Sojourn, was released back in 1972. Oh, that's wonderful. Boy, that'll sell a million copies in about a day. In <laughs> about half a day. Just the news of it will sell a million copies. That's wonderful. Boy, if they tour, that'll be the biggest thing since the Stones have been. Well, since they split, you know, they put out three solo albums uh, from various members of the band. They had a good time with them. They said that uh, before they split, see, they had to scrap two albums that they made. They all listened to them, and they felt that they just weren't good enough. They sounded like everything else, and they were becoming stale. After a year away from each other, they say they're all itching to make another album, and you can bet it's going to be gangbusters when it does come out. U-100. Weather. Save the Seals weather. You can tack anything on you want in front of that. Chicago weather, Save the Seals weather, whatever. Sunny today, and occasional cloudiness tonight and tomorrow. The high today... A snow melting 35 degrees, and the low tonight, a slush freezing 15 degrees. The high tomorrow, somewhere in the middle, about 27, somewhere around in there. Right now it's 15, going up just slightly. It'll get a little warmer fairly fast now. And I'm Art Snow for Michael J. Douglas with the wonderful Jerry St. Saturday James. Chicago weekend with St. James in the morning at 7.22, 22 past 7 o'clock. How are you? Got some goodies here. Got a couple of Chicago albums. Going to give you this hour between now and 8 o'clock. What else we got? Oh, we got 14 degrees on the outside here. Are we giving away Chicago libraries? I think so. Gee, I don't want to say that if we're not. Ah, oh yeah, we're giving away Chicago albums all week long. At least once an hour right here on Super U. Chicago's greatest hits can be yours. Coming up within this hour. So hang on. Presents the BBC Rolling Stones concert special. It's Sunday night at 10 o'clock right here on Super U. 7:25 with St. James and the Eels. Who's here? Lance Avenue in Edina. S K I spells ski. Certainly does. Spells ski there, all right. Yep, that's what it spells. Well, it looks to me like it's about news time here with the one and only Artie Snow. Where are you? You in there? I can't believe you're not even in there. Oh well. Well, sorry. Am I on? Yeah. You're on. <laughs> I'm not keeping you up, am I? Oh, no, I was working on some stuff there. I had to get some stuff ready. Oh, well, Sunday. oh yeah, right. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's Fire. see. I didn't Fire. think you'd get into it this early. Well, it's 7.32. Boy, you don't waste any time, do you, boy? No. You get right down to it, don't you? He who hesitates is lost. Yes, that's what I was told once. Yeah, you hesitated and look where you are. Yes, that's right. She told me that. I know. I've regretted that my whole life. What, uh... Oh, it's sports time. Sports time. Can't Is it really? That. Oh, boy. You oh. probably don't even have any sports time. I got all the sports in the world because oh. I'm such a good one myself. All right. Well, in that case, sport, what sports? Well, I think we'll stick to Minnesota most of the time because there's so much going on in Minnesota in the world of sports, so I'll get that to you, okay? All right. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Fine. For your information, I'm Marcel for Michael J. Douglas. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that. Good. It's 15 degrees in the Twin Cities. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I'll buy that, too. Well, you're a dummy, then, because it's up to about 17 now. Hmm. Maintenance crews say the field of Memorial Stadium will be in perfect condition for this afternoon's Minnesota-Wisconsin football game. Crews worked for the past two days scraping snow from the artificial turf. I don't know what I was doing there. With a road grader and sidewalk plows. <laughs> and they brushed the turf and everything like that, parted it in the middle. Final patches of ice remaining today will be cleared away by hand. About 200 university students shovel snow from the stands yesterday out onto the field, so it's going to be one heck of a mess in general. But I think you ought to go out and see that game because Minnesota's trying to get a, a better than 500 record, and they have to win the day in order to do it, or finish with a 500 record, let's put it that way. As far as the rest of the sports go in the Big Ten, the Biggie, of course, top-rated Ohio State against Michigan for the Big Ten title in a Rose Bowl berth. And the loser even gets to go to the Orange Bowl, which is uh, something different for the Big Ten this time. And Oklahoma will host Nebraska for the Big Eight crown with the Orange and the Fiesta Bowl bids at stake in this one. Elsewhere in Minnesota, as far as that game goes, Wisconsin coach John Jardine said that Minnesota's chilly weather with temperatures in the 20s expected by the 1 p.m. kickoff should have no bearing on the game, none at all. 
The Gophers are four-point favorites over the Badgers. Minnesota coach Cal Stoll said he's wary of the Wisconsin pass defense. He's more concerned with the ability of his defense to stop the Badgers. Billy Mark. Mark picked up 304 yards in last year's 48-14 to Wisconsin route of Minnesota. The governors of uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin did a little joshing yesterday ho, 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 about who will win today's football game. Governor Wendell Anderson told Wisconsin Governor Patrick Lucy he observed that the University of Wisconsin sometimes has a tough time fielding a football team. Lucy replied he expects the Badgers to win, and after today's game he thinks they'll be an undisputed third place in the Big Ten. He doesn't fool around. The Hextall brothers, Brian and Dennis, play together professionally for the first time tonight when the Minnesota North Stars host the Atlanta Flames at the Met Sports Center. Minnesota Twins have announced a 31-game 31 31 exhibition schedule that begins March 10th with a game against the Houston Astros at the Twins Tinker Field in Orlando, Florida. Hopefully they'll have a manager by then. The Vikings have announced second-year man Fred McNeil will replace better Minnesota left linebacker Roy Winston in the Vikings San Diego Charger game tomorrow. Minnesota took fourth place yesterday in the Big Ten Western Division swimming relays held at Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois. Minnesota scored 70 points. Wisconsin finished first with 178 points. Championship games in the Minnesota State High School League uh, Girls Volleyball Tournament will be held today in St. Cloud State University campus. Yesterday in tournament semifinals, St. Paul Highland defeated Chaska once beaten Hibby and overcame Wyzetta. In Class AA play and Class A competition, undefeated Moose Lake beat Benson and Sartell over Nicollet. Air Force Academy defeated Mankato State University 7-5 in an independent college uh, hockey game in Mankato last night. And Iowa scored six points yesterday, finishing first in the Minnesota preseason invitational wrestling meet held at the University of Minnesota. Minnesota was second with three points, followed by Mankato State with one. And Michigan State beat our Gophers last night. It's a terrible thing for the Gophers, but they'll get some back. Uh, down our hockey team, 3-1 to one in a Western Collegiate Hockey Association game at East Lansing, Michigan. The only goal for Minnesota scored by center Tom Vanelli. Minnesota's 3-2 and two in the league and 6-2 and two overall right now. At Duluth, North Car Dakota State University, rather, edge Minnesota Duluth 5-4 to four in another WCHA game. And another WCHA game's Michigan shutout Michigan Tech, 4 to nothing. And Notre Dame defeated Denver 5-2. Colorado College over Wisconsin 6, mind you, to 5. That's a lot of sports. Pretty boring, too. Yeah, well, you know, you got to know what's happening. That's true. A lot of people like the sports. They want to know what happened. They want the name mentioned, things like that. Oh, yeah. U100, uh, save the seals, milk the cows, uh, play the music. Uh, Chicago weekend weather, sunny today. Occasional cloudiness tonight and tomorrow. The high today should be about 35, warmer than they expected for the game. Low tonight about 15. The high today, or the high tomorrow rather, about uh, 28. Right now it's 16 degrees in the Twin Cities and going up. by Mart Snow for Michael J. Douglas with Jerry St. James. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. Hello. Hi there, Jerry. Wait, I had the card in upside down. Right? Chicago there for you. It's Chicago weekend, and I got a couple albums for you right now. At 452-3333. Yes, give us a call right here on telephone, and Chicago's greatest hits are all yours.
St. James Radio Program, The Beatles there at 7.53, 7 minutes now in front of 8 o'clock. This is U100 Program. With the Jeff Airplane. U100 WYOO, AM and FM Stereo, Richfield. Center's there, the game's beautiful play. It is 803, how you? Temperature falling here, 12 and a half degrees. You, what was it when we came in here this morning, 14? Yeah, it was 14. We have lost a degree and a half. Yeah, it's 12 and a half. Very, very, very cold outside. When you leave the house this morning, if you do, you will need a scraper to scrape off the windshield of your car because there's frost all over it if you park outside. Anyway, anyway, as we said, about three minutes past 8 o'clock. Hi, you. Da! 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 What number is the Who in here? Do you know? Won't get, won't get fooled again? Won't get fooled again? Yeah, I want to play that. That's, one of my, that's my favorite Who song. Oh, it is? Really? Yeah. Why don't you look under Who? I don't think they do that that way anymore, do they? W-H-O? Yeah. I'll find it. Yeah, it's here. The won't get fooled again. It's down there near the end of the greens. Oh, okay. Did you guys like to hear that this morning? A little who on the radio? A little who on the radio? Yeah, we'll who on the radio? I will look for it while Artie does the news. Okay, thank you. Won't get fooled again. It's my favorite. Good morning. Don't mind me. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Art Zidow for Michael T. Douglas, and right now it's 13 degrees. Gone up a half a degree in the Twin City. I uh, led you astray before telling you it was warming up. It'd get colder. But it will warm up. Honest, I kid you not. From the Zodiac this morning, an Italian clothing firm, which is uh, marketing a brand of denim pants called Jesus Jeans, is being bitterly criticized by the Catholic Church in New York. Why, you ask? The controversy began after the advertising agency of Bob Eldiston Associates put up billboards advertising the Jesus Jeans, complete with slogans from the Bible. One billboard, as an example, shows a young woman wearing tight-fitting jeans from behind. Across the seat of her pants, in Italian, are the words, quote, He who loves me, follows me. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus jeans. <laughs> the New York Archdiocese is charging that the pants are, quote, exploiting Christ, religion, and Christianity. They certainly are. They certainly are. In the meantime, the ad agency insists that using the name Jesus is no different from using, say, Kenneth jeans, or Max jeans, or <laughs> Melvin jeans. The agency insists it's being, quote, persecuted, unquote, by the church, and it blames the church for pressuring Bloomingdale's into canceling a large shipment of Jesus jeans. Well, now, a lot of people are named Jesus or Jesus or something. I mean, yeah, in uh, Spain or whatever it is, Jesus is a popular name down there. What happens if they stop a guy whose name is Jesus and throw him in jail for having Jesus jeans across his back? And say, yeah. Mommy sewed it in there for me, so well, I wouldn't look them. <laughs> <laughs> You don't understand, that's my name. <laughs> Please, let me go. All right, that's enough, that's enough. Just, by, just, just that guy's luck, he'd be arrested by Officer Pilot. <laughs> Another one. Yeah. <laughs> Officer Judy. <laughs> well, it seems that, uh, guess who's going to work for George Wallace? In the Zodiac campaign headquarters of George Wallace reports, Lieutenant William Kelly oh. dropped in in, Mon in Montgomery, Alabama last week. He offered to join the Wallace presidential campaign. Press aide Billy Joe Camp said the former lieutenant who was convicted of murdering 22 uh, Vietnamese civilians at My Lai was uh, uh, thanked for his offer. Quote, like anyone else, Camp states that Kelly was told that the campaign office might call on him for help in the future. Camp, however, emphasized that Kelly is not a member of the Wallace staff, and he is certainly not on the old payroll -y. So get that out of your noggin. It's 12 years ago today that President John Kennedy was assassinated in oh. Dallas, Texas. That's right, 12 years ago, in case a lot of you didn't realize, this was the 22nd. Students from the school in San Antonio, Texas, that Kennedy visited the day before he died, planned to place a wreath at his memorial in downtown Dallas. And as you know, the two Kennedy specials are coming out next week on television. When they're going, CBS is going to try to figure out exactly what did happen and whether the case will be reopened. Oh. Well, we're going to have to watch that. I'd be very interested in seeing that. Most definitely. It'll be uh, Tuesday and uh, Wednesday nights on uh, CBS. UCLA, UCLA, I think I can say this. UCLA students are debunking talk about eggs causing cholesterol problems in humans. They say it's an old wives' tale. You were brought up on that idea, right? Well, it's untrue. They say their eight-week study of a group of healthy young men found no significant change in their cholesterol levels, even though they ate two eggs a day. Count them, two. It's what they ate a day. A child psychologist said 80% of the nation's prison inmates might be behind bars because they have a neurological disorder that makes them see letters and numbers backwards. This is a very common, common thing, and you may have noticed it in your child. Uh, Roger Sanders of Baltimore 
says the disorder caused, uh, called dyslexia could account for producing frustrations which lead to crime. If you have a child, say, who, when you read to them, will, will uh, see a word backwards, will turn letters around, or uh, will print a number, you know, trying to print 13, they'll print 31 instead, and they keep turning everything around. And if they can read a book better upside down, say at the age of six, and they can right side up, they may be suffering from a form of dyslexia. Does that mean like if you look at a word, you see it backwards? In a sense, yeah. And uh, it also means like, uh, you know, you could look at a book real hard, say when you're a little kid, and try to read, Joe jumped over the fence. And you might not be able to read that. But if you saw the same thing upside down, where, normal, where a normal person with, uh, you know, a normal, uh, whatever you call it, recognition of words would have a hard time reading it, you'd say, oh, that's Joe jumped over the fence, you know. Huh. It's, uh, it's a strange thing, but it's uh, really relatively common. Gee. Gee, I thought you'd like to know that. Yeah, it's very You're interesting. Welcome. I didn't know that. President Ford's uh, youngest son, Steve, is in a Ramona, California rodeo. He's going to try a skill at bronco riding Wonderful. during a week-long Thanksgiving holiday. I thought everybody would like to hear that big news. On a break from classes at Utah State University, the young Ford, as they call him, will study uh, Western-style horsemanship with former rodeo star Casey Tibbs. Should be... Now, uh, Michael J. Douglas would have a big uh, a big ending for that. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> I just thought you'd like to know it. I don't even care. The Federal Aviation Administration says it's found no evidence that military missiles passed in front of a commercial jetliner over Virginia. The pilot of an Eastern Airline flight from Florida to Washington reported seeing some type of missile last uh, Wednesday, but the FAA said the, the pilots apparently mistook fireballs from meteors to be the rocket exhaust from missiles. Either one of them sounds pretty weird to me. As far as the weather goes, I think you would like to know that uh, for the most part it's going to be sunny today in old Save the Seals Super U area, and tonight maybe just a little bit more cloudy. The high today about 35 for the game, and the low tonight about 19, somewhere 18, somewhere around in there. Right now it's 13 degrees, going very slowly back up again, and sunny outside. I'm Art Snow for Michael J. Douglas with Jerry St. James. Sorry. Anytime. My request, mine this morning, adds is yes, and right about, it is 8-19, 19 past 8, on our laid-back Saturday radio program here. Hi, you, this is Jerry St. James. Still think it's on your mind this morning, request-wise, uh, give us a call here, we'll try to get it on for you. Old or new, makes no difference to me, I will play anything. 452-3333, our request lines, as always, this morning. With the winner's U100, that's KC and the Sunshine Band on our laid back Saturday radio program here. Uh, this is St. James in the morning. Uh, just kind of laid back. <laughs> and burned out, too. Gee, I had a good time last night. I was out at the uh, Cheap Skate Roller Rink in Cottage Grove. What a good time. What great people. My good friend, James St. Martin, and everybody was out here, Dan and Gladys, and it made us feel so welcome. We were out there for about, the, uh, oh, I guess all told, four and a half hours or so. Packed 900 people into the place last night. Yeah, 900 people. Can you dig it? It was super. I had a really good time. Everybody was skating, and it was just, just really wonderful. And uh, hope we can come back again real soon. Really look forward to it. That's such a beautiful place out there. This is not by, may, by way of a commercial or anything, but just as a point of interest, uh, if you're into skating, or even if you're not, uh, they have skates there you can rent. You know, you don't have to have your own skates or anything. Uh, you might want to check that out. It's such a beautiful rink. It's like an airport. I mean, it's just beautiful in there. You will not believe it. They tell me it's uh, probably the best rink uh, uh, on, on, uh, on the, in the Midwest, or anywhere in the country, for that matter. Sun Cottage Grove. Gee, I don't even know what the address is, but they'll, they'll be able to tell you. Go look them up in a phone book, Cheapskate. They'll tell you how to get there. If you want to go out, just beautiful floor, beautiful rink, and nice sound system, good lighting system, and it's just crazy. Anyway, we, we had a good time out there. It's 826 on the St. James program. As promised, the who. U100, that's my favorite from Who there. That's called Won't Get Fooled Again from the LP Who's Next. Isn't that good? I like that. It's 8.34, 26 before 9. Uh, the voice of the man who reminds me of Linda Lovelace. Oh, yeah? Who's that? He's going down. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Woo! Hey. Well, listen, I got three Jewish lawyers in New York that'll put anybody on their knees. So. That's putting it on them there. That's laying it to them. That's stocking it to them, boy. All right. right now, heavy groovy, psychedelic underground. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. Oh, it's you again. Hi. What's going on? 
Gee, Would I, you like to have the news, sir? Do you really yeah, want to? No, really. Very important that I hear the news this morning. Oh, well. All right. <laughs> All right, I've got it. I've got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got it right here. I've got it right oh, here. You got had it. It. Yeah. All right, what's happening? Good morning. I have to say that. Good morning. Why do you keep saying that to me? I've been talking to you here for three hours now. Every I'm not time talking you to you. Say it. Oh, I'm, I'm talking to that great public out there in the ethereal ether oh. swimming around. Good morning. Good morning. What do you want? How <laughs> <laughs> snow for Michael J. Douglas? And it's 15 degrees. We're back where we were a couple hours ago. New York City Council has adopted by a one-vote margin a resolution supporting the $205 million tax package to aid the financially stricken city. The positive vote came after nearly 19 hours of debate and arm-twisting. President Ford's supporters are trying to get four more governors to pledge to support Ford's presidential candidacy at the Republican Governors Conference in Wichita, Kansas. So far, six of 12 governors attending the conference have signed the letter supporting Ford. Well, and from Earth News this morning, in the tradition of Ben Franklin and other great entrepreneurs, a young American has come up with a machine that allegedly turns poor-quality wacky weed into great smoking dope. Hey. It removes the tar and nicotine from tobacco. Hey. It produces incense, hey. perfumes, and essential oils. Hey. According to inventor David Hoy, his machine converts uh, cannabida... Cannab <laughs> Cannabis. No, cannabidiol. Oh. Cannabidiol, I think it is, the inert ingredient in wacky weed, into THC, the active ingredient. The machine also eliminates the adverse effects of wacky weed, such as headaches, and gives the smoker more satisfaction and less marijuana. The machine, which was the, uh, has the longest title known in the history of inventions, is called the Isomizer, a do-it-yourself home marijuana intensive purifier, tar and nicotine remover, perfume incense, and essential oil-making machine, unquote. It looks like a home appliance for the 21st century, complete with chemicals and instructions for performing all three processes. The isomizer is also a useful tool for those who are trying to quit smoking tobacco. It allegedly allows the smoker to remove increasing amounts of tar and nicotine from tobacco so that it's possible to quit smoking without suffering withdrawal symptoms. The gadget is fully guaranteed. It's been tested by leading chemists, and it's currently selling for over $200 and is legal in the United States. Mm. Mm. That's from Earth News. And don't ask me where you get it, because uh, I've told you all I know. There you go. Also from Earth News, prostitutes in both uh, Britain and France are attempting to unionize the world's oldest profession, taking their lead from the San Francisco-based loose women's organization, Coyote, which stands for Call Off Your Old Tired Ethics. Uh, 2,000 French prostitutes held their first national congress this week to protest fines levied against hookers. The French prostitutes are seeking to strike a deal with the government by offering to pay income taxes in exchange for being recognized as ordinary workers. I hope so. I hope so, too. And in Britain, a new organization entitled Prosti Prostitutes United for Social and Sexual Integration and you figure out what that oh, means. Oh, good lord! <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fill you in on that. You, yeah. you have to write that down for you yourself. Can put the letters together yourself. <laughs> it has been formed. <laughs> the members of this group are working to decriminalize prostitution and establish a professional code, which will give both the hookers and their customers a fair deal. Right. In I don't think the girls should take this standing up. What? <laughs> I don't either. And they aren't. Believe me. Yeah. In both European countries, the goal of prostitution activists is the formation of a trade union for hookers. In other words. Respectability is all they want for their profession. If you don't pay your dues, you get laid off. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that. <laughs> yeah. That's what she said, anyhow. Huh? Yeah. In the wake of mounting interest in the JFK assassination, this is uh, from uh, Zodiac. A Hollywood producer has announced plans to film the trial of Lee Harvey Oswald. Producer Julian uh, Berkovici said the film is based on the hypothetical trial that might have been held had Lee Harvey Oswald lived long enough to stand trial. The movie will be filmed in Dallas, including scenes inside the infamous Texas School Book Depository building. John Bonzo Bonham, who, for those of you who are unlightened as to uh, what goes on in the rock world, he is the drummer of Led Zeppelin. He needed 13 stitches in his lip recently after being knocked nearly unconscious by a bouncer in a Hollywood club. According to the bouncer at Hollywood's Roxy Rainbow, Bonzo was punched after he began throwing chairs and tables around the place in one of his usual fits of creative uh, efforts. <laughs> That'll do it. I'll get you punched real quick. <laughs> got, him, got him whopped right there, right there in, in front of everybody. 
How embarrassing. There's not much else here. Oh, yes, the Committee to End Pay Toilets in America, <laughs> SEPTIA, is a national organization which has uh, been successful in, uh, in outlawing coin-operated... Notice how these things work out. It outlawing coin-operated stalls in numerous states, and it suffered a stinging setback. Yes, it's true. The House of Representatives in Washington has killed a bill by a vote of 78 to 34 that would have liberated all the pay toilets in federal buildings. Septia says pay toilets are degrading to users, and they are sexist because women always have to pay, while men, most of the time, depending on number one and number two, get to use the free stuff. Septia estimates that there are currently 50,000 pay toilets in America, and get this, they take in $30 million a year Boy, when you put them all together. Isn't that a that's rip? a lot just for people going potty. Boy, that's a super rip. Yeah, that's right. We are kind of lucky. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. true. I, mean, I, have, I myself have very, very seldom had to use a dime. <laughs> And tell could. me why you have very seldom had to use Well, I mean, if you're at a ball game or something and you're drinking a lot of beer... I well, mean, that's true. That's you don't true. have to go into the big thing. You can just stand there. You know? That's true. But, of course, at ball games, uh, you know, all they have are things like outhouses, anyhow. Yeah, that's true. That's true. See, I hope, uh, hope they don't start charging us a nickel or anything. Yeah, they'll charge us to breathe or something like that. Yeah. Half price for number one. <laughs> yeah, half price. That's we'll give you a 10% price. discount. All yeah. right. I hope they don't start that, because then everybody's going to start going into sinks and stuff. Oh, please, please. <laughs> oh, they are, <laughs> We've descended low enough on this newscast. <laughs> Must we go lower? Yeah, I just say, this has been a, a really disgusting newscast. <laughs> yes, it has. Prostitutes and pay toilets. And hey, come on down. Really? Well, I can't help it if that's all the Zodiac in the don't earth. You have anything, don't, you, don't, don't you have anything about what the president's doing? It was my early fixation. I already probably, gave you the president's stuff. Probably in trying the... to find a dime because you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I gave you the president's stuff in the beginning. Oh. I don't really have anything else here. Oh, yes. Well, I, no, I'll save that for next time. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for this? Is the weather terrible, too? No, the weather is pretty good. All right. And you 100 to save the seal Chicago weekend weather. <laughs> save the seal. Scare the cow. Chicago weekend. Rolling Stones BBC special weather. I just noticed that. <laughs> it's going to be... I believe you. I certainly hope not. Yeah. It's sunny today. It certainly is. Occasional cloudiness tonight and tomorrow. The high today, hopefully... What's the matter? What's the matter? Hey, cow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be about 15 degrees. I, I may need a lot of rest and relaxation after this. The uh, high tomorrow will be, hopefully, uh, not much lower than 30 degrees. <laughs> right now in the Twin Cities, it's 15 and going up and sunny. And I'm Art Snow for Michael J. Douglas with Jerry St. James. <laughs> That is uh, Jigsaw and Sky High on the St. James Radio Program. It is our Burned Out Saturday show. As always, yeah, every Saturday we're really burned out here. It's at 13 now, in front of 9 o'clock on a Saturday with 12 degrees outside. Right. Classic Deer, a rock classic by Don McLean from 1972. That's American Pie. It is 8.56. Scotty Ski Tips. Back to <clears throat> I gotta go and get the rest of these Save the Seal petitions in the mail to you before the post office shuts down at noon today, all right? Have a nice weekend. We'll see you uh, Monday at 6 o'clock on the radio here. Brother Bob is next, and it's a good weekend to go out and get some signatures on your Save the Seal petitions, too. It's gonna be a nice day today. A little cold, but nice nonetheless. If you're out at the U, take a petition to the Gophers game with you, huh? We'll see you on Monday. Have a nice one. Bye-bye. Hello, you're my favorite story. Richfield, 904, with your brother Bob. Reminding you that the U100 disc jockeys are available for appearances at your school, church, or civic organization. More info, just drop off the line at U100. Egan55122. We work cheap, otherwise, why would we be here, right? The Burnout Saturday morning, 907 with your brother Bob. Hey, speaking of burnouts, my man Art Snow is next to the news as he sits in for vacationing Michael J. Douglas. Call me. And now, ladies and Yay. gentlemen, here he is. Yay. He opens his coffin. Yay. And comes out to do the news. Art Snow. How long have you been on the air this morning, Art? What? How long have you been on the air this morning? This morning? Yeah. How long has this morning oh. been on? Let's see. Well, since uh, midnight. Okay, I've been on since midnight. Nine hours and eight minutes. <laughs> All right. God, Levy, let's go for another nine. Oh, why not? Okay. Why not? Why not? I'm trying for 167 hours this week. <laughs> I took an hour out for lunch. I think it was Tuesday. All right. Are you ready for this? Yeah. It's going to be dull, dead, and boring. As usual. I warn you about that right now. As the man said, I'm Art Snow for Michael J. Douglas. It is now 16 degrees, gone up one degree. 
in the Twins. We should get to 35 sometime this afternoon. Melt off a little bit of that snow out there. And by the way, uh, even though it seems to be clearing off a little bit in the Twin Cities, making travel a little bit better, Minnesota Highway uh, Patrol says motorists should be alert for snow-clearing crews all over the Twins. No travel is advised this morning in the Wilmer, Marshall, and Wyndham areas. The highway department said only necessary travel should be attempted in Wilmer, Marshall, and Wyndham. Elsewhere in Minnesota, roads have scattered slippery areas, compacted snow, highways in the Twin Cities. All of them are open and passable at this time. Meanwhile, we, we continue to dig out of the first blizzard of the season. Winds will be light southwester today. Temperatures in the mid to the upper 30s south, the upper 20s north. Chance of some light snow flurries in northeastern and northern Minnesota through tomorrow, though. Six persons died in that storm we had, five of them from heart attacks while out in the weather. Latest reported victim, 65-year-old George Colley of Heron Lake. He was found 20 feet from his Jackson County home late yesterday. Authorities believe Colley suffered a heart attack and died of exposure. Minnesota Senator Hubie Humphrey says upper Midwest refineries have just two years, that's all, to find out another source of oil supplies. The Canadian government announced Thursday bigger cuts in exports. They say they are going to cut us off. To do this, Humphrey says he prefers a Trans Mountain pipeline, which might pump Alaskan oil into the upper Midwest. It's a good idea. A California state agency is charged that the Teamsters Union and the J E and J Gallo Winery have engaged in massive surveillance of Cesar Chavez's United Farm Workers in an attempt to influence union elections. That Gallo out there. Eskimos who traded in their dog teams, this is from the Zodiac, for snowmobiles are getting a little more than they bargained for. It seems a study by McGill University in Montreal has found that snowmobiles are making Eskimos deaf. The university found that over 80% of the men on one Cumberland Sound Island in the Northwest Territories now have serious hearing difficulties as a result of the widespread use of the snow machines for hunting and fishing. The McGill study found that the noise levels generated by the snowmobiles range from between 105 and 120 decibels. This can be compared to the sound of a jet taking off. University researchers discovered that the Eskimos' ability to hear dropped rapidly after just several hours of steady exposure to a snowmobile. The British financial publication, The Economist, also from the Zodiac, says that all those reports about the movie Jaws being the number one box office attraction of all time are false. Jaws allegedly broke the box office record by taking in $124 million to move ahead of all other movies. However, The Economist explains that if inflation is considered, then Jaws would not even finish among the top three money-making movies of all time. The magazine says that in terms of 1975 dollars, the all-time money-grossing champ is still gone with the wind, which took in the equivalent of 153 million dollars, followed by The Sound of Music. The magazine says that The Godfather is number three, and Jaws is down there a meager fourth. For those of you who uh, were thinking about the dream come true department, a life-size wax model of Raquel Welch was stolen from the Toronto Wax Museum in Canada. An 80-pound likeness of Ms. Welch, valued at uh, $2,000, was taken during the night from where it was standing between the wax models of Albert Einstein and Martin Luther King. Einstein and King were left unmolested. As far as the weather goes this morning, sunny today is the way it looks for the entire day. Occasional cloudiness, though, tonight and tomorrow. We should get up to about 35, maybe 36 in the Twins for the football game this afternoon, down to about 18 tonight, then up to about 28 tomorrow. And there's some, hopefully, uh, some more sunny skies after that slight bit of cloudiness. Right now, the Twin Cities is 16 and sunny. I'm Art Snow for Michael J. Douglas with Bro Bob. All right, Art, well, obviously you've just come home from the party. Yes. Does it sound like you uh, went home before you came I, to work I here today? Went home? I don't have a home anymore. Everybody's, oh, that's right. Yes, I have a cot downstairs. You're thrown out. <laughs> yes. Well, um, everybody's got a hangover this morning. Feeling a little ill, so I thought I'd play some very soothing music, not too loud, from the Beatles. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Chris with your brother Bob. We're partying this morning. That's uh, for you. And sometime this hour, I'm going to give you a chance to instant rip at Chicago's greatest hit LP on a Chicago weekend from Super U. Stand by. <laughs> hey, the Steelers weather is sunny today. Not so sunny tonight. What is this? This is Jerry St. James weather forecast. High 35, low 18, hips 36, now 12 and a half. It's two for you. <laughs> 
lucky to help a kid who might not otherwise have anything to celebrate. Bring any new or slightly used toy to any Twin City 7-Eleven store and give it to the U100 U.S. Marine Corps Toys for Tots campaign. 923 is Super U and Bowie. Bowie, think about fame, 927, and it's the loose of quality. This is Chicago Weekend at Super U. We have plays and giveaways of Chicago's Greatest Hits LPs all weekend, and the Chicago Greatest Hit is coming up next. With the winner, Snow's coming. Brother Bob at 936. Ice Snow's coming up with the news next. And then today, 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 Jigsaw. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, he 100 now presents the somniferous Art Snow. The what? Somniferous. Oh, thank you. I don't know what it means. You know, I just thought <laughs> it either. You know, I pointed to it. But I accept. It's now 19 degrees and sunny. I'm Art Snow for Michael J. Douglas, who's on vacation. We'll be back with you on Monday. Well, this storm system that uh, went by here that left eight dead in the blizzard, five dead in Minnesota, appeared to have dropped as much as 24 inches in the state, mostly in the southwestern corner there. Eight inches fell in the Twin Cities, as you know, but you know, we actually received only a small portion of what fell. It's hard to say what would happen if we had received the brunt of the storm as Nebraska did or South Dakota did. There are parts of Nebraska which received 20 feet of snow from this last blizzard. That's in 20 feet of snow on the Twin Cities. Well, there appears to be more hope for home canners in the coming year. The U.S. Commerce Department said three billion, that's right, billion jar lids will be produced for the next canning season. During the past season, manufacturers produced nearly two billion lids, but many did not reach consumers in time for the summer and fall canning time. Governor Wendell Anderson said at a news conference yesterday it's unlikely that Minneapolis Mayor Al Hofstad will take a state job. He said a job has not been offered. Hofstad has not asked. Anderson also denied he has a cozy relationship with Reserve Mining Company. And the governor said he opposes plans for increasing the state unemployment compensation tax, which is paid by business. He said the tax should be increased in good times to make up for the unemployment benefits which are being paid out now. The body of a 15-year-old rural Renville girl who disappeared more than a year ago reportedly has been found. Mary Dawn Raditz, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Helmut Raditz, disappeared August 10, 1974, while babysitting in a neighbor's home. Details of the reported finding were to be disclosed today in a news conference called by the Renville County authorities at Olivia. The body reportedly was found in a county bordering Renville County. Miss Raditz was babysitting at the residence of Mr. and Mrs. Harvey Bratch. The couple reported Miss Raditz missing when they returned home about midnight. The babysitter's jacket was on a chair, her shoes were near the Davenport, and the television set was on. Hundreds of volunteers searched the county in the week following her disappearance, but no trace was found at that time. The Christian Science Monitor reports that CBS is currently debating whether to publicly call on Congress to reopen the 12-year-old John Kennedy assassination case. For those of you that didn't remember, this date, 11-22, is exactly 12 years after the assassination. According to the Monitor, a heavy debate is going on at the highest levels of CBS following the network's six-month probe into the JFK case. CBS will broadcast a two-part series on the Dallas assassination next week. The documentaries will be anchored by Dan Rather, who says, quote, We know that both the FBI and the CIA were involved in the cover-ups, although I want to emphasize that there is no evidence to support an accusation that they were directly or even indirectly involved in the actual killing, unquote. Rather adds, quote, What we want to know is why they deliberately and possibly illegally told untruths to the Warren Commission, unquote. Rather also states, I'm personally convinced that a House and Senate Blue Ribbon Committee should reopen the case. The Monitor said that CBS has uncovered evidence and the CIA, that the CIA and the FBI knew much more about Lee Harvey Oswald than they admitted to the Warren Commission. The network reportedly tracked down several witnesses who met with Oswald and a Latin person concerning the purchase of several rifles shortly before the assassination. That's from the Zodiac. A top federal fish and wildlife official said that industrial chemicals known as PCB should be banned nationally because they're destroying wildlife resources. Assistant Interior Secretary Nathaniel Reed told a national environmental conference in Chicago yesterday that PCBs could wipe out Great Lakes fishing within one generation. 
U100, save the seals. Chicago weekend weather, sunny today, occasional cloudiness tonight and tomorrow. High today in the middle 30s, possibly about 36. Low tonight around 18, and the high tomorrow up around 30 degrees. Right now it's 19 and sunny, and I'm Art Snow for Michael J. Douglas with Brother Bob. 12 years, that's incredible, man. It gives you a perspective on how old they are. That's right, 12 years ago. I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to feel old, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't give up your bottle. <laughs> U-100-452-3333, get it in, I'll get it on. And to prove that my intentions are good, why else would I play this record? Unless somebody requested it, right? 452-3333, super you. St. James presents Rex King, the Hot Flash newscast, Michael J. Douglas, Guido, and much more Monday morning, right on super you. 90% music this hour, 452-3333, where you can instant rip a Chicago Greatest Hits LP. It's brand new, and it's got all the great stuff on it. If you're call number 19, it's Sue by You. My bike past the gates of the factory. My mom's doing the laundry. Hanging up shirts in the dirty green. After it rains, there's a rainbow, and all of the colors are black. It's not that the colors are there, it's just imagination relaxed. Everything's the same back in my little town. Think about that old Maggie May next. Charlie. CYO, MFM Stereo, Richfield. 1002 with your brother Bob. Gonna take a cruise with John Denver. Well, let's hope that the ice isn't formed in the water yet, right? Get on with Calypso. It's too by you. You 100. Save the Seals weather. Sunny today. Not so sunny tonight. That's the St. Jamesism, huh? High today, 35. Low tonight, 18. Now 13. It's too for you with Black Oak, Arkansas from the X-rated LP. Tony Turner Gaysford from the Beatles at 10.08. Get it in to get it on. Uh -huh. You want to decide to get down, get a little romantic, maybe take in a couple of feelings. 10.11, it's Super U with Maurice Albert. I love it, go keep us together here. 10.14 from Super U, 100 with a Chicago weekend. Captain uh -huh. Real 10.17 with your brother Bob getting a little weird and satanic with Mike Oldfield next. Super hit, the best. I get goose flesh every time I hear that. Two be the bells, Mike Goldfield. 1023 at Super U100 with Sweet. We're at 452 All you have to do to get a hold of me is pick up your phone. You get it in, I'll get it on from Super U. Seals weather at 1026. Sunny today with a high of about 35. Low tonight, 18. No chance of snow whatsoever. So uh, be happy with what you've got. It's now 15 degrees at Super U at Elton John for the Tommy soundtrack of the Pinball Wizard. Music this hour. So you're reminding you, emphysema is a nightmare. If you smoke heavily, cut down. If you don't smoke, don't start, man. Mm -hmm. An annual turkey trot featuring Frank Zappa in concert this coming Wednesday night at 8 p.m. at the St. Paul Civic Center. From Sean and U100, the station with the concerts in the Chicago weekend. Wishing you were here. It's Sue by you. Mm -hmm. Okay, at 1 o'clock this afternoon for vacationing Tucker. He'll be back with us on Monday right here at Endless Summer U100. <laughs> 
And look on out there. We've got a little snow on the ground here this morning, but there's none coming. We're going to have a high today of about 35. Low tonight, 18. Now 15 at Super U with the Knights on Broadway. BG. We're going to mellow out at 1042 with Elton John. Leave on. With 452-3333 blinking away. Go ahead, give me a call. You get it in, I'll get it on. It's Super U. 47 with Brother Bob. On a Chicago weekend, we gave plays to giveaways of Chicago's greatest hits all weekend long with 5,000 volts next. Hi there, 1051. Brother Bob with these new words to this song. Let me see if I can remember them. Uh, drink a little wine, do a little smoke. Fall down tonight. Casey and the Sunshine Band. All right. Everybody get up and boogie. Get out of France here this morning. 1056 at Super U. I'm your brother Bob, and I'm as close to your phone at 452-3333, where if you're really quick and you call number 18, you can rip off a Chicago Greatest Hits LP on a Chicago weekend from Super U. Get on, K-Town. WYO, AM, FM, Stereo, Richfield. Brother Bob with Casey and the Sunshine Bam, up and take it, because that's the way I like it at Super U. You 100, we're going to do a little disco bumping here this morning. Right after Casey and the Sunshine Band, we're going to hear Silver Convention of Fly, Robin, Fly. That's next at Super U. Station Carly Simon, 1115. 100, 1118, Brother Bob with an English group called Dick Star. For the Dick Star LP, this is Sky High. Why, this early in the morning? Super U. Chicago Weekend with Brother Bob, 1120. Hey, this is a place where you can drop off any new or slightly used toy. Any Twin City 7-Eleven store. Remember that. Do your part for the U-100 U.S. Marine Corps Toys for Types campaign with 11 spoonful next. Play the Rock Set, 1124, Super U-100 at Chicago Weekend. Set, Super U. I got Neil Sedaka from his Hungry Years LP next. What? U-100 reminds you of your veteran call the VA for your education benefits. 1131 at Super U with Eva and SOS. Save our seals. Jerry St. James, Monday at Super U. SOS at 1134. Brother Bob going to sail on the good ship Calypso next. The seals weather at 1140 with your brother Bob. Sunny today, high 35. Low tonight about 18. Now 18 degrees at Super U-100 with Orleans. Dance with me. Ten music this hour. I do love this song. I do love my sugar bear, too. Yeah, Fred, I'd like to make it with you. It's too you. It's a, that, <laughs> all right. This is a Chicago weekend. At 11.46 of your brother, Bob. That's all, folks. And if you are call number 27, that's 452-3333, you are going to win a Chicago Greatest Hits LP from Super U on a Chicago weekend. Yeah. On a Chicago weekend with Brother Bob at 11.53. Pat McKay is here at 1 o'clock for vacationing Chugger Morgan. He'll be back from Hawaii on Monday with all sorts of lights. Tell us, probably. Hey. 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 AM, FM, Stereo, Richfield, 12.02 with your Brother Bob and Elton John. Feels weather. Sunny today with a high of 35, low tonight 18. Now 24 degrees at Super U with Simon and Garfunkel back in my little town on a Chicago weekend. 100, 12 on I with Brother Bob over 90% music this hour. It's Super U and Pat McKay for the Chucker coming up at 1. Going to give you a chance to insert a Chicago Greatest Hits LP within minutes at Super U 100. You can drop off any new or slightly used toy at any Twin City 7-Eleven store. Do your part for the U100 U.S. Marine Corps Toys for Tots campaign. Super U, we got the Bee Gees, the main course LP, Nights on Broadway in stereo. Dress up my glitter tonight, my cowboy outfit, and get going like a rhinestone cowboy, Glenn Campbell. Huh? Rhinestone cowboy, 1219, it's Super U with Brother Bob. Over 90% music this hour in a Chicago weekend. 452-3333, I want you to get it in, and I'll get it on for you. Electric Light Orchestra from the Face of Music LP at Super U, we got Bay City Rollers. You and Hunter, we got Steel and Dad reeling in the ears at 1227 with Brother Bob and Save the Steel's weather. Sunny today with a high of about 35, low tonight 18. Temperature has zoomed right up to 29 degrees. Mr. Mm-hmm. Ribbons, as close as your phone at 452-3333 for a pair of tickets to U100 second annual turkey trap with Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention. And they're going to be in concert Wednesday, November 26th. It's coming Wednesday at 8 p.m. The St. Paul's Civic Center. From shown in U100, the station with the concerts. All right, let's get down to rock and roll. It's about time we pick up this thing and move and groove and shake a little bit with Grand Funk shining on it's Super U. Super U 100, hey, who's this? Donna Jackson. 
sure. Hey, guess what, man? You just won yourself a pair of tickets to go see Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention at our second annual Turkey Trot at Super U. Hey, U-100. 1241 with your brother Bob at Super U, reminding you the Minneapolis Health Department can help you understand the heavy responsibility of pregnancy. Give him a call. That's the way I like it. Keeps being a sunshine man. <laughs> I can't see the sunshine, man. That's the way I like it, man. Oh, yeah, fun. Yeah. Good Lord, man. Yeah. Hey, now. Are you ready to smoke and boogie? I can't think of anybody in Dixie Rock and Roll that can do it any better than Charlie Daniels, and he's going to try it next. It's too You know, when you got to a... Daniels from the Night Rider LP, Birmingham Blues at 1250. Midland Records, the upper level record. Hey, Pat McCain next at 1 o'clock for Chuck and Morgan, 12.54. With your brother Bob at Super U 100, we got more Chicago and its greatest hits on a Chicago weekend. From Super U, stand by for your chance to win a copy of all of Chicago's great hits from U 100. U 100, W-I-O-O. FM Stereo Richfield, 1 p.m. with the boyish charm of Pat McKay and Sky High Dig Song. What a first break. <laughs> I'm Pat McKay. Let me be perfectly honest with you. I am hungover this afternoon, so just give me a few minutes and I'll have a good show. Chicago weekend Rolling Stones weather sunny today. High today around 35. Low 18 right now. 33 sunny. It's Chicago Saturday in the park. You <laughs> won 100 Pat McCann 111. Working on 20 minutes of nonstop music with Neil Sadaka. <laughs> From the Hunger Ears LP and Bad Bot at 114 in the Twin Town. Get on, take out! Favorite race and the chance to meet a new favorite person. This Friday and Saturday night, there'll be special drives for great prices like t-shirts, record albums, and free drinks, along with the exciting rock show of the Upper Division. Be sure to come early so you won't miss the action. All your favorite drinks, your favorite people, and the Upper Division. It's all happening tonight at the Tom Tom Room. Make it to the Tom Tom Room and the Minnehaha Lane. Three blocks east of Lexington between Minnehaha and Pierce Butler Route in St. Paul. <laughs> Presenting on Thanksgiving turkey to you one day early. <laughs> You'll be allowed to gain lynch, Brother Bob. Oh, really? John and Super U present Frank Zappa Wednesday night at 8 at the St. Paul Civic Center along with the Mothers from Sean and U100, the station with the concert. 116. Have a candy afternoon. My request is 452 quadruple 3. This is Grand Funk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Disc jockeys are available for appearances at your school. For more info, just drop a line to U100 2110 Cliff Road in Egan 55122. Spinners and the games people play right on Super U. Afternoon at 122. 100% music is just minutes away. 452 3333 is my phone number. Get on it right now. Be number nine. I've got a Chicago British Hits LP. <laughs>
sweet. And Fox Side of Rotten 125. You've got to get more than one. Pavacat 131, the sale of the steel's weather, along with the Chicago Weekend, a Tel Bar Tel Weekend, and the Rolling Stones BBC. Sunny today, I-25, low 18. Right now, 33 sunny. It's John Denver from Winsaw. This is Calypso. <laughs> Howard, the feeling at 1.39. Charlotte. It's Heaven Sent Dick from Helena Rubenstein come with their own beautiful poems. Heaven Sent, available at Snyder Drugstore. Super you on Pavic at 1.21. Won the 100% music. is just minutes away. We got the most, baby, and you know what I am talking about. In four days, say... K144, Rock of the Westies LP, Alan John, and Elton Creamy. What? Ringo Starr and the No-No Song from 1974. I, I, Reefer fully now. The lady that I like. No thank you please, it only makes me sneeze. You 100 Papa K and Ringo Starr. Yeah. At 115 in Twin Towns. Stand by for Chicago Weekend Ripoff. Just minutes away with the instant rip as close as your old telephone. <laughs> Plain fat at 155. Super hit. The best. You want 100 WY1 AM FM stereo with real. 2 p.m. I'm Pat McKay. In Chicago weekend with giveaways of the greatest hits LP. Two hours and 40 minutes of non-stop music just minutes away. And KC in a sunshine band. Now that is the way I like it. Sunshine man, that is the way I like it. You know, I heard a, <laughs> I heard one of the other disc jockeys at one of the other stations say the other day that he had an M album to give away. Well, Jeepers Gully was, isn't that cool? <laughs> an M album, all right. I don't want to mention any names, though. Has anybody listened to Doug Silver lately? <laughs> Open right now, 452-3333. Why don't you give me a buzz right on Super U? You like the big... ...95. And European roller skate wheel sets, 1495. Plus a large selection of top-line skateboards in stock. That's Penn Cycle, Bloomington at France Avenue and Old Sackaby Road next to McDonald's. And Penn Cycle at 68th and Penn at Richfield. Super U and Pat McCann 211. I am taking call number 9 right now. 452-3333. And I've got a Chicago Greatest Hits LP. Feel all right. Take Joe Cocker Rocker.
the song. Sky High. <laughs> oh, you think about that one for a while. It's 217. Presenting the greatest... Well, wherever records and tapes are sold. <laughs> Sam the Seal, Chicago weekend weather. Sunny today, high today around 35. Low tonight 18. Right now in the city, uh, 33 degrees and a sunny sky. And beginning Chicago. U125. I'm Hamna K. You can drop off any new or slightly used toy at any Twin City 7 Eleven store. Do your part for the U100 U.S. Marine Corps. Toys for Tots campaign. I have 100% music for two hours and 40 minutes. Simon and Gar, right on Super U. You want 100 to 29, I'm Pat McKay, the best looking disc jockey in Twin Cities Radio today. Tim Cassidy, tonight at 6, right on Super U. ELO. And an evil woman. Chicago's greatest hits album on the Chicago Weekend, number nine, four five two quadruple three.
FM Pam McKinney Afternoon, we present our second annual Turkey Trot featuring Frank Zappa in concert, plus me on stage. Oh my God, you'll go crazy. This coming Wednesday night, 8 p.m., St. Paul Civic Center. From Sean and U100, the station with the concerts. This is brand new from the X-Rated LP. Black Oak, Arkansas, by request from our request line, 452-3333. Strong enough to be gentle. You look at me. I'm happy can't add to know. I've got a Chicago greatest hits up on the line right now. To number nine. Four five two three 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 BTO. Roll it down. Rock. Damn it, go. Telephone line right now for the instant rip off. Hello. Yeah, we're the record. You sure did, man. <laughs> U100 WYOO AM FM Stereo Whitfield, 3 p.m. The boys charm with Patrick K. Slightly used toy at any Twin City 7 Eleven store. Why don't you do your part for the U100 U.S. Marine Corps Toys for Tots campaign? BG's Nighttime Broadway. U100 309 on Cabot working on two hours, 40 minutes, non stop rock and roll. Sergeant Pepper and friends in stereo right on Super U. U100 Pavic K313. Stay in the steel of Chicago weekend weather. Sunny today, high 35. Well, tonight around 18. Right now, 33 sunny. KC and a sunshine man. The BBC Rolling Stones concert special, Sunday night at 10, right on Super U. U100, 321, Pat McKay working on two hours, 40 minutes non-stop. Love will keep us together. Captain and Neil. Sunny sky, 33 in the cities and the spinners. You want 127, I'm Pat McKinney afternoon. Later on this hour, Frank Zappa concert tickets and a song I've been waiting to play all day long, man. This is The Who from By the Numbers and Mama's got a squeeze box. Three 
Johnny Pan Decay, the best music in North America on a Chicago weekend. <laughs> forecast right. I should say U100. Save the seals, save the cows. Chicago weekend, Rolling Stone, BBC, Tal Martell weekend, special weather. <laughs> but I'm not going to say that. Sunny today, high 35. Low tonight around 18. Right now, Minneapolis, St. Paul. 33 degrees. A sunny sky. One of my favorite songs of all time, Lonely People. This is for all I Three thirty-seven. I'm Happy Candy Afternoon. You're waiting for those Frank Zappa concert tickets. You've been waiting too long. Number nine on the line right now. Four five two thirty-three thirty-three. It's the Silver Convention and Fly, Robin Fly, right on Super U. store and give it to the U-100 U.S. Marine Corps Toys for Tots campaign. Have the K-343 by request from my request line. The Moody Blues, Knights in White Satin, right on Super U. Knights in White Satin.
Hebron 355, I'm Pat McKay. Jerry St. James presents Ring, uh, Rex King and Michael J. Douglas. And much more. Monday morning, right on Super U. Eagles and the best of my love. Lay it down now. Tim Cassidy Child Radio Star that I am getting on the chain train <laughs> with Gladys and a six pack of pips. If you know what I mean now. This is Tim Caster reminding you that uh, gasoline and alcohol don't mix. Well, they do, but they give you one of the worst cases of heartburn. <laughs> North America's number one cook and bookie station with 100% music power this hour. on your case at 740 with the rock and roll from the Westies. Here's your Elton John. Whacking Cattle Russell, Carl Blake, and Tim Cassidy for rocking soul music. Alabama with the band you want her knee and no strings attached. <laughs> Olivia Newton John. And he ain't heavy, he is my brother on Super U 100. Rudy? U 100, I'm Tim Cassidy, pushing out 100% music power this hour on the Chicago weekend where the instant rip is just a phone call away at 452 and a quad three. <laughs> Who's on my telephone here? Uh, All right, Gary, you have just become the proud owner of the Chicago Greatest Hits LP and the Instant Riff. Are you kidding? No! no this is for real. You 100, Cassidy, and you're keeping some bad company, Mama. <laughs> W-I-O-O, 
Stadium at FM Stereo Ridgefield. Straight up eight with Tim Cash. And I want you to love me for a reason. Love me for my 100% music. Love me on the Chicago weekend. You know, after all, I do have a mind. You listen for your chance to call in and win from Super U100. with Cassidy in another action hour. Later on this hour, we'll be reviewing the new television show, Gateway to the West. The story of six limp-wristed wranglers who reveal just how close the man can get to his horse. <laughs> You're 100 Tim Cassidy, supplying the rock and roll, baby. All you gotta do is take care of the hoochie coo. Here's the All-American ball, Ricky Derringer. <laughs> Chicago weekend weather. Cloudy at Cassidy Snow, low tonight, lower 20s. 24 and cloudy. This is Tim Cassidy at 812, getting back to my old school. Sky high. <laughs> Tim Cassidy going to make it with you, because I've got 100% music power at this hour. Slice of the good stuff, bread on U100. U100 presents the BBC Rolling Stone Concert Special tonight at 10, right on Super U. Cassidy in 100% music power this hour. And 5,000 volts. Ooh, my, I am on fire. Request line is 452-3333. Pick it up and use it. You 100 and a winter wave. Linda Ronstead getting down. Jerry St. James, 48 around the chest, 58 around the waist, 108 around the golf course, and a nuisance around the house will be here tomorrow at 6. Along with Rex King, the world's only singing weatherman. Here. You 100 with Timothy K. 
Cassidy cooking with the best rock and roll here in the Twin Cities, baby. It's all right now. 452-3333 going over to me. You get it in, I will get it out. Promise. <laughs> Chicago weekend with Tim Cassidy. And the Easter Rip is close to your phone within minutes. Forget about the whoopee cushion because Mama does have her squeeze bar. On you 100. Chicago weekend. And the condominium kid from Colorado, John Denver, Calypso for the Windsong LP. U100, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, baby. They are so lonely. They don't even have a shadow. U100, Tim Cassidy on a Chicago weekend. Seventh caller scores their greatest hits LP at 452 Quad 3. Three. You want it? You know it's 